How do we keep hope in the ups and downs of life, especially when life is full of disappointments? Hello and welcome to Prayers at One today. Here are a few thoughts and prayers to encourage us, especially those of us who are struggling to be positive and hopeful. One of my favourite Bible characters is Joseph. Why him, you may ask? Well, his life is full of ups and downs. And yet, he is an inspiration because he doesn't change course and become like everyone around him, or become cynical, or look for a means to escape, or drop out. In the escalator of life, or the snakes and ladders of life, it's very easy to do these things. So how is it possible that he manages to avoid those? Is he such a strong person? No, that's really not what the story is all about. It's not about the strength of Joseph, but the strength and power of God. And this is one of the many good news stories we can read in the Bible of how God is watching over us and values us and wants us to have a hope that he's working things out in spite of what the circumstances seem to say. Now the first high point in the story is right at the beginning when Joseph it starts as, as Joseph is a young man, he's a teenager and he must have felt on a real mountain top when he found he was his father's favourite, favourite son among 12 brothers. I mean what would that do to a person? It must have made him quite pride, prideful and full of uh, uh, boasting I should think and it looks like he flaunted being the favourite especially his special coat you may have seen the musical Joseph in Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat I don't know if you've seen that it's all about the coat high and then low what happens then you know things were going well and then in the story his brothers ambush him and throw him into an underground cistern in those days you used to have these big cisterns massive cisterns to keep water in the desert. Then his brothers sell him to a bunch of slave traders. How terrible is that? How low is that? He must have, I guess he must have felt let down. Oh, I would. Disappointed, abandoned, felt ashamed, betrayed. Let down by his family particularly must have been so difficult for him. Have you felt that way? Have you felt let down by family or friends or those who loved you? I would be surprised if Joseph wasn't wondering, who can I trust? Who can I now trust after what's happened to me? And things go well in Egypt, and he reaches another high point. He finds himself in charge of his master's house and all his master owns, that's Potiphar. But from the mountain, he's into the valley again, and suddenly he finds himself imprisoned on made-up charges. Read the story to find out more. It starts in Genesis chapter 37. Maybe Joseph felt disappointed again. Maybe he was really upset again. That, you know, he put his trust in his boss this time, in his abilities and intelligence, and suddenly it's all gone very wrong. He's let down again. He's embarrassed. He, he's, he's, um, he's the scorn of others because he's in prison. I wonder if he was tempted to hopelessness, that what he put his hope in had failed. And there are other twists and turns to the story. Um, but at the end of the story, Joseph meets up with his brothers and able to say when he meets them again is you intended me for harm to harm me but God intended it all for good isn't that amazing that he could do that Genesis that's in Genesis chapter 50 right at the end of Genesis um, and in the uh, verse um, in the sentence number 20 the story of Joseph and his brothers is really a good news story or what we call a gospel story, because gospel means good news. And what, what I mean by that, what, what pe people in my church mean lot by that, is that God is always there and he shows favour um, in spite and mercy to us, in spite of our failings and failings of those around us. Um, he rewards, rewards those who don't deserve it. And all he expects in return is our faith, our trust in him, and to open our hearts to him, to, um, to, to let him in. Um, and let him let him uh, control take control of our lives in a, in a in a gentle way to be the dr the driving force for our lives rather than us trying to drive our own lives. And if we, if we give our hearts to him and our hearts are changed and we we have this love between between us and him and him and us, then we want to follow him and obey his ways and really understand about who God is. And there's a wonderful um, wonderful verse that really speaks to me from the Bible um, from the first letter to Peter. 
um, chapter 5 it says if you bow low in God's awesome presence humble yourself um, before him admit that you need him not be prideful in any way he will eventually exalt you he will lift you up and leave as you leave your his, the timing of what happens in your life into his hands I think that's a wonderful wonderful encouragement to us dear Heavenly Father you are powerful all-powerful the king over all creation and yet you are loving and caring you uphold our world and are beyond time and beyond our understanding and yet you reveal yourself to us thank you for being there for us dear Lord dear Lord when things go wrong in our lives I pray that you would remind us of your presence maybe someone here Lord is listening today might have been a little let down abandoned uh, ashamed things haven't gone right in their lives help them Lord help each of us not to let hurts and disappointments and failures of the past take us over and make us bitter and vengeful dear Lord help us to um, find forgiveness in our hearts uh, give us uh, a bigger perspective help us to see hope um, and not feel that we're going to be let down again Lord, when family and friends let us down, help us to be like Joseph. Help us to find a way through and look to you for help. And dear loving God, help us when we struggle in our workplaces, um, when bosses uh, don't, don't agree with us or let us down, when we, when we lose our jobs, our sense of identity goes, when we question our ability and doubt ourselves. Help us, Lord. Comfort us. Remind us that you are for us and not against us. Remind us you want us to succeed and not to fail. And you want us to trust you um, in the bad times, the lows, as well as in the highs of life. Dear Father, we do lift up our world to you in this uh, difficult pandemic time. We pray for all world leaders to make good decisions. We pray for those working on vaccines to have real success. And we pray that this virus will be brought under control. Uh, dear Lord, we do pray for our country. You would help us through these difficult times. We pray for our area, that you would bless our community. Lord, we pray for the towns near us. We've heard have had a high number of COVID cases. We pray for Northampton in particular and for Luton. And Lord, we do give thanks that Bedford has now been removed from the government area of concern watch list. Dear loving God, we do pray for our hospitals and we pray a blessing on them, particularly for the uh, Luton and L L L L L Dunstable and Bedford hospitals um, that they're having a merger, that are merging at the moment. We pray that will be a success and patients will really benefit. And we do pray for all nurses and frontline staff and help them, Lord, help them protect them, watch over them, especially as they deal with the COVID patients that come in. Father, we lift up local businesses to you. Pray a blessing on them in these very testing times. Lord, we lift up our local police and we thank you for all they do in our community to keep our community safe. And Father, we lift up uh, schools and children as they return, many of them returning to school next week, and we pray for concerns there are about um, uh, health issues and, uh, um, and being safe. Father, we pray that you'd uh, give peace and comfort to those who are worried at this time. Father, we thank you for all volunteers who offer their time in our community, to help build our community up and, and keep it together. Bless them for all they do. Pray particularly for Leighton Lindsay Helpers um, and all the volunteers that work for them, Lord, of giving their time free, freely. Father, help them as they go out and support people in the community. And Lord, we lift up all those who are making calls from Leighton listeners as well. So all these things, Lord, we lift to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please do join me again on Wednesday as we continue to look at hope. If you would like to read more, um, about hope. I have a small booklet for free called Hope Beyond Coronavirus. Please contact me if you'd like one. And if you'd like to find out more about faith and the meaning of life, we have an Alpha course starting. Alpha is a fantastic course of, of videos, really well done videos that really help um, to explore um, what the meaning of life is. And, and it's, a, it's an opportunity to share, share ideas and, and give opinions without feeling there's going to be any, any, um, any disrespect. All views count. Um, but it's an opportunity to find out what the Christian faith is all about. For more, for more information on Alpha, please see the details at the end of this video. God bless you and thank you for being with me.